Hey everyone, back again for another math lesson. Today we're going to be talking about another application of Pythagorean Theorem, which is the distance formula. All right, the distance formula is this really long thing you can see over here. Um, it says the, the distance between two points is going to be the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. Um, it looks really confusing probably to some of you. <clears throat> just one notice, these numbers inside are subscript just like the slope formula, right? y2 minus y1, you're doing the same idea. You're just going to take one because there's going to be two points. So they're just going to tell you which point are you looking at, right? Um, so that's going to be important. Um, I'm going to show you what this looks like without using this really long formula also. So um, if we had normal class, I would say, hey, you don't have to, to do this uh, one way or the other. You can pick whichever way you do that. Same thing. I don't really care. Um, whatever you want to do. Most of you will probably think this is pretty easy um, if you use like the Pythagorean theorem, just the way it is. Really, this formula is basically just a, uh, a way to write the Pythagorean theorem. If you think of this as like a squared plus b squared, and it would equal c squared, but we already square rooted the whole thing. I know it's, it's kind of weird. So let me show you what this looks like. And then you can be your own judge and figure out which way works better for you. And uh, I'll give you one to try here at the end that you're going to submit on Google Docs. All right. So let's say I want to know how far is it from the point negative uh, 3, 7 to the point um, 5, 1. Right. How far is that? What's the distance? Uh, just to give you kind of a visual representation here, negative 3, 7, somewhere here. Yeah, so this is negative 3, 7. And then 5, 1 is over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 is right there. Cool. So what I'm really looking for is, and I'm trying to draw a straight line here, but how far is that line segment, right? How far is it from here to here? We know we want to draw a straight line in between those um, because that's the, you know, distance between something is the, uh, from one point to another is the straight line in between those two things. So. How can I find out the distance? Well, the easiest way to do this, um, or I guess the only way to do this, is think of it like a Pythagorean theorem problem. Now you're probably saying, Mr. Odie, I don't see a right triangle. You're absolutely correct, you don't. Um, but we could make one. If I go straight horizontal, uh, from this point over, and if I drop this one down straight vertical, that would make a right angle because one's horizontal, one's vertical. We know that has to re meet at 90 degrees. Those would be perpendicular. And now I can see that really the distance between those two points is really just the hypotenuse of some right triangle. Um, but how far are the sides? Now, this is what's really cool about if you like this graphic version of this is I can really just count how long this side is, right? It goes from negative three on the X right here. This is negative three to five on the X. So from negative three, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine units long and we just say units because we don't you know it's not inches or anything because it's a graph so i'm just counting on my x-axis from negative three to five 
That's nine nine units long. Nine? One, two, wait, I went too far. Huh. All right, my bad. This is really negative four seven, isn't it? So let's fix that graph a little bit. Hopefully you were yelling at me, it's telling me to stop. go and there's that other people might just edit this video or fix it so they don't look stupid you know that's not really my style so there we go all right so now let's back that up we're going from negative three because this one's negative three I went one too far so let's count again here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From negative three to five is just eight, which is why I knew something was wrong. Uh, so that's gonna be how long the bottom of that triangle is, right? Hopefully you guys can see. I'm gonna count the spaces, right? I'm not counting each line because we wouldn't count this as one, but between negative three to five, I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. I'm gonna do the same thing on the y-axis here. The y-axis on this point right here is one. And the y-axis up here is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. So from one to seven is one, two, three, four, five, six spaces long. So we know that that value on the uh, side, the other leg of this right triangle is going to be six units long. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense how we got that. Um, if it doesn't, I'm going to show you the other way and maybe, hopefully that will help you out and uh, you'll be able to figure it out from there. So based on this, here's our two points. I found that if I made a right triangle out of those two points by dropping a line straight down and straight across, uh, this line would be six units, this line would be eight units, and now we have a Pythagorean theorem problem because we have a right triangle, we know the two legs, we don't know the hypotenuse. So, I'm going to plug six and eight in for A and B. Six squared is 36. 8 squared, 64. We don't know C squared. Add them up. Get a hundo. And take that square root. And it would tell me that between th these two points, we know that that side is going to be 10 units long. So what's the distance between those two, this point to this point? 10 units. Now, most of the time, it's going to come out to be a decimal because it's an irrational number because you're taking a square root at the end. This is just one of those special ones that turns out right. I didn't even know that that turned out pretty. So, there you go. Um, so, that's a lot of stuff. I want to try to show you what if we use this formula instead. So, what if I didn't try to draw a graph and make a triangle, right? What if I wanted to just use the formula, Mr. Oni? Well, hopefully I'm done with that graph because I'm not drawing it again. <laughs> the formula says, I'll write it a little bit bigger for you guys, in case you can't see it on my screen here. The distance between the two points is gonna be the square root x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. And um, if that confuses you because you're used to putting the 2 first, like from slope formula, it doesn't matter if you do x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2. That's It doesn't matter. You're fine. Um, just try to do both of them the same way. And you should be fine just like in slope formula. So... What if I don't have a graph, I don't feel like drawing one to figure out what that triangle looks like? Well, 
Now I can use this formula and just plug these two points in. So remember when we used to find slope and we'd label our points like one and two and x, y, x, y? You can do the same thing and it can help you to figure out which point to put where. Um, but basically we're just gonna plug stuff in to this very large formula. So the x1, look at the first point, the x value is negative three. X2, here's two, here's the x, that's five. Same thing with one y, so we're looking at the first point, the y value is seven. And we're looking at the second point, the y value, and that is one. So just like most formulas I would tell you, the hardest part is setting it up, right? We just plug in those numbers. Now from here, we're just gonna do a little bit of subtraction. Negative three minus five, yes you can bam bam in here, just like every other minus sign. Negative three plus negative five is negative eight. Seven minus one is six. Now if I still had the, if I had a big enough board, like I would at school, I would show you that those two numbers were the legs of the right triangle in the first example, right? So all we really need to do to find out how long those sides are is subtract the two X values and the two Y values, and they'll tell you what your legs are. From there, you can jump straight to Pythagorean theorem. So literally we have A squared plus B squared, and then it's not D squared because we already put the square root on both sides. Just kind of weird right but be careful when you're squaring a number that's negative i know i've told you this every single day we've done this in class but negative eight times negative eight is positive 64 not negative your calculator will tell you the wrong answer remember if you don't put it in parentheses six squared is 36 add them together you get 100 and take the square root of 100 we only want the positive answer and that's where we get 10 from. So using the Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula are the exact same application. This one just looks fancy, but it's really just fit for you to plug numbers in and go. Um, if you'd like to see the triangle, feel free to do that. Some people will subtract the X's, subtract the Y's right away, and then set it up in Pythagorean theorem. So they'll say, Oh, so five minus negative three is eight. Uh, one minus seven is negative six. Those are my legs. And then just do the rest of it like it was just a Pythagorean theorem problem. That's the exact same thing. Okay, so that's the gist on distance formula. Um, I think I gave you just this video today. Tomorrow, I'm going to give you an example to kind of just look through. There's no work to do with it. Um, just make sure you look at the example on Pearson. And then next week, for our last week of school, we're just going to practice with this the whole time. And then it'll be summer, and hopefully we can do summer-type things. Also, can we talk about how it's so cold? What in the blazes, right? Like yesterday... I'm filming these on Tuesday, if that gives you any. Or Monday? Today's Monday. My bad. Uh, and yesterday was gorgeous. And then it looks like Friday is going to be 45 degrees. It's crazy, right? I just want to talk to you, you know, like how we normally do this talk part. And like Brock will stand on his desk right now and, you know, whatever else you kids do. You crazy kids. All right, so let me give you guys one to try. Um, in Google Docs, I would like you guys to try to find the distance between two points. And I'm just going to make these up. Let's say negative 9 and negative 9, negative 3. and two, negative one. 
All right. So make sure you show a picture of your work, whatever you're doing to figure that out. Um, if you draw a picture, that's fine. If you do the big formula, that's fine. I can put it on here in case you guys are screenshotting this so you can look at it while you're working. Uh, if you didn't write it in your notes, which I hope that you did, since you're all such good note takers, right? All right, so if you want to just look at this part of the video at the end so you don't have to look over the whole thing, um, you can pause it here, or screenshot it so you know what the problem is that you're working on. Here's the formula. If you want to use it that way, show me all your steps when you plug it in. If you want to draw a picture, that's fine too. Um, or if you want to just subtract and find what the legs would be and set it up like A squared plus B squared equals C squared, that's fine also. Good luck. Hopefully it goes well. And like I said, we'll practice next week. All right. See you guys later.